Chafin. The miners survived more time trapped underground than anyone on record. They owe it to the refuge chamber where they live, with its oxygen and rations that kept them alive for 17 days before any outside contact. A Kentucky company makes a similar but smaller type of chamber for coal miners. As Janet Kim tells us, the company says this is an example of how important they are. It's just the beginning to make sure in the event of a mining accident, coal miners have a place of refuge. Saving lives is happy endings is why we exist. Mine Shield LLC operates in Garrett County. Dalton Hendren, the owner, says the mine chambers needed for coal mines in Kentucky and surrounding states are different, however, than the mines in Chile. What you saw in Chile, it was like a cave or a cavern. The mines in Kentucky are uh, low ceilings. Uh, they vary in from uh, 24 to 60 inches in height. I think most of the shafts are 20 foot wide. Under this flooring, food and water will be available for the miners, enough to last for four days. After an explosion, the, the uh, miner would go into the airlock, shut the door, and then he would open the door into the living chamber and go into it without taking contamination. This mine refuge shelter is in its final stages, and its designers are hoping something like this will help bring a happy ending like we've seen in Chile. Mine Shield's efforts don't end here. Owners have now teamed up with engineers in China for the coal mines there. I've been involved in the mine safety for the, at least 20 years. Yeah, so all my job, is the arm of my job is to save lives. The same sentiment being expressed around the world. In Garrett County, Janet Kim, WKYT 27, News First. And at this time, Mineshield says their rescue chambers are built to hold as many as 20 